every week we are having dynamic climate change uh, events occurring. We can't just be observing it, we have to be predicting what the effects are going to be on the ecosystem and human societies. We're really excited we're going to form the Institute for Global Change Biology. I'm a cryo-electron microscopist, which means I use an electron microscope to study the structures of really small complexes. Part of cryo-EM right now is just educating people what the technique can do and what it can't do. The University of Michigan already has one of the, the best facilities in the country. Now we're going to be able to probably more than double our capacity and really um, help all the people that are interested in using the technique. The Center for RNA Biomedicine was founded in 2016 by what is now a group of 150 faculty across all schools and units of the university to study ribonucleic acid, RNA, and how it can be translated into medicines. With the funding from the Biosciences Initiative, we'll be able to expand collaborations across all of campus that includes all the colleges and schools and units involved in any form of biosciences. The BSI initiative um, will provide funding for us to establish the Michigan Concussion Center. We certainly have great faculty here, resources here are phenomenal, um, but what we have lacked is kind of bringing everybody together under a formal structure and the Biosciences Initiative will allow us to do that and really set us on a path to becoming the leader and best in concussion research, not only domestically but around the world. This initiative is going to help us expand drug discovery at the University of Michigan. And the discovery will involve naturally occurring compounds called natural products. And my group for many years has isolated these compounds from uh, microorganisms that we often obtain from marine sources. With these uh, new resources from the Biosciences initi Initiative, we can go from good to spectacular, and that's what we plan to do.